Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look here, we got a great big bottle. And this is from A.L. Smith. All their beers are freaking awesome guys. And they know how to make beer out there. And A.L. Smith's out of San Diego, California. This, uh, before I get into it, uh, Great Beer actually has the right bottle listed here. O-L-D-E-L, -E which is how it's written on the, on the bottle here. But Beer Advocate has it listed as O-L-D-L, not O-L-D-E. Uh, I think that's previous year, evidently this year's, and, it, and it's got it right here on the bottom. British Style Ale, M-M-X-I-V. So uh, that tells me it's 2014 edition. This is an 11 percenter now, guys. This beer will keep for a long, long, long time. And this is not the uh, the barrel aged version of it. They do make a barrel aged bourbon, barrel aged version of this. I did not see that when I picked this one up here. And now Ale Smith is coming to Virginia. I don't have to, to go to North Carolina to pick up their beers. They are available here. So uh, I, I did pick up some last time I was out at Barrel Chess. Martin and the guys out there have uh, started getting these beers in and I am so happy. I uh, was able to pick up some more of the uh, Speedway Stout. So I've got several bottles of that stored away and cellaring. Uh, so, and we may do some of those here in the next couple of months, especially as it to gets toward the uh, fall and winter season. Uh, I may re-review uh, that. Now, I've already had it, but I may re-review it again. So uh, I enjoy that beer. That is an awesome beer. It's not a cheap beer. It's a pricey beer. But it's definitely a great beer to pick up. And, and like I said, being an 11 percent, uh, beer. I, I'm not sure what the Speedway Stout is. It may be a little bit bigger than that. Uh, I, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but it does sell her well. So you can pick up uh, several of them and uh, drink one now and drink one later and drink one five years from now or ten years or, or fifteen years from now and it's just going to get more complex and better over time. So that's why I've been stocking up on them here lately. So. Well let's get on with this one. Like I said, uh, they don't have this particular version listed on Beer Advocate. Uh, the one they do have listed is spelled OLD, and it's still an 11 percenter, so it's probably still accurate. This is uh, listed as a British style, so I I'm not exactly sure how close it is to that one, but it's still the same ABV, and Ray Beer has the, the right picture for this one. So, Commercial description on this one, orig originally brewed in 2005 as our first in our annual decadence series, Al Smith Old Ale follows the tradition of classic British style old ales. This rich malt forward ale showcases soft notes of currants, dried fruit, along with complex dark sugar, all of which are balanced by a subtle bitterness derived from the addition of traditional English hops. L. Smith Old Ale is ready to be enjoyed now or can be aged upwards of 20 years to further enhance its amazing depth of flavor, a hearty ale designed to please Bacchus himself. Never met the guy, but I'm sure he has uh, a great beer note side. And I apologize if I don't know who Bacchus is. What happens when you get old and, and senile in your old age? So uh, I'm sure uh, yeah, a lot of people know who he is. I am not one of them. So 11% uh, IBUs, it says here, is 25 on this beer, guys. Food pairings for this beer says... Cheeses of buttery brie gouda, Havarti Swiss, and the glass fired pint, Bacchanalic tumbler snifter, oversized wine glass. 
got my favorite glass here, the Southern Beer Glass. And like I said there, this beer can be solid for up to 20 years. Probably even longer than that, 11%. It's going to keep. So I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. 11 percenter. And this is in the great big 750 milliliter. Definitely enough to share, which is what I intend to do. So let's get the foil off of this one. And I like how their foil comes off in big pieces. And, and uh, even though I'm a big fan of baby beers, their foil comes off in little teeny pieces like it's glued on with super glue or something. So. Here we go. And these bottles have a bigger cap on them, being a bigger 750 milliliter. And you almost have to work it off. Not a big hiss. And this cap's just a tad bigger than your typical 12 ounce bottle cap would be. And it's a plain cap, so it's not worth saving. I'm so happy these beers are coming to Virginia now. They are not cheap beers, but they are awesome beers. Yeah, look at that. That's a work of art right there. Uh, about a finger and a half of head. Very murky looking brown color. Almost to the muddy color. And the head is an off-white tan. Very tight bubbles all around the side. There are a few bigger bubbles in the top from that aggressive pour. Good looking beer. Good looking old ale. And like I said, judging from the date on the front of this bottle, it looks to be a 2014 edition. And you usually date their bottles, but I cannot see it here. Uh, I'll, yeah, I can too. I can see it. It says, bottled on, looks like it says February 26th of 2014. So this beer is already over a year old. Uh, we're into the end of August. It's in February to be two years old. So this is a 2014 edition of this, which was done in February. So it's already aged in the bottle almost a year and a half, and I just picked it up a couple weeks ago. So and it and and it won't go bad, guys. If you sell this beer correctly, it'll last you a long. long and these are one of the beers probably that you, if you can afford to, to pick up a couple of them and drink one now and sell her one or, or even pick up two and sell her one for a couple of years. This one's already been selling for almost two years. You can sell her for however long you'd like to drink one two years from now or five years from now or ten years from now. See how it changes out and gets more complex over time. Look at that head sticking around. It's still got a good finger of head on it. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, wow. Such sweet toffee and caramel. Oh, man, that smells good. Maybe some dark fruits in there. Figs, dates, or raisin. Maybe a little licorice. Maybe some hints of tobacco in there. Black currants. Oh, it's got a wonderful smell. Oh, it smells good. Liquid sex. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait. I'm drooling on myself. Cheers, everybody. Wasn't well, get the alcohol in the nose, but you can tell you're drinking a big beer when you sip this. I don't want to say it's boozy, but you can tell it's an 11 percenter. That is a big beer. This is a sipper. Very sweet on the back end. Mm. That's an excellent beer. That is an awesome beer, guys. Especially if you're into these bigger old ales. Wow. The toffee and the caramel is this candied sugar. Wow. That's
that's delicious. And with a big bottle like this, it's, it's, it's an expensive beer. I don't want to say it's overly expensive. It's not cheap. It's a pricey beer. But look how much beer you're getting for that, for that amount. If you was to have this out in a bar or a pub, and you can get a glass of this for 5 or $6, I mean, you're getting your bang for your buck. You really are. I mean, if they're going to charge you $5 for a Budweiser, a glass of Budweiser, and you can get this for 5 or $6, and you're drinking an 11 percenter, and it's got this much taste, you'd be a fool not to, not to drink this beer over that swill. So, uh, very nice beer. Very, very nice beer. Well, it's time to take it back, pour her a glass. Definitely uh, a glass left in here. There's this much left in there. Nice glass share for her, 11 percenter. That'll get her buzz going on pretty quick. And uh, might even fire up a cigar to go with this one. I think I got a little Bombay in there. Uh, I might fire up to go with this one. Be right back. We'll do the final chug and grade on this one. I'm going to sip on this in probably about 45 minutes. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on this about 45 minutes. This beer is awesome, guys. It's very delicious. Very nice old ale. It's, uh, as the style goes, like I said earlier, uh, <clears throat> Beer Advocate doesn't have the same picture of the bottle. It has O-L-D ale instead of O-L-D-E ale. So uh, both of them are still 11 percenters, and I think the picture they have is from an, a previous year. Uh, I don't know what year this bottle that they're showing is, but the one we have here on uh, Rate Beer is uh, the right one. It, and they're both 11 percenters, uh, probably different a year, different batch uh, than what this one is. But this one is freaking awesome. I have never been disappointed from anything that comes from Ale Smith. They are on top of their game, bottled on date, uh, right here in Southern Enjoy by date. I'm a big fan of the bottled on date, so be enjoyed by day. That tells me how long the beer has been in the bottle and not what somebody thinks I should drink it by. Enjoy by date. Not a big fan of the enjoy by dates, guys. Uh, this not. Just my two cents. Just not my two cents. Uh, this is a great example of an uh, English style old ale. It is. It's, uh, the only way this beer could be better is to be barrel aged. And uh, they do, uh, they do a, a version of this. I have not seen it here yet. They just started carrying the uh, Ale Smith beers here in Virginia. So I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be seeing the barrel aged version of these beers uh, before too long. So uh, very happy that they're showing up in Virginia. I am. So. I ain't got to drive to Greensboro or wherever to pick up these beers anymore and they're right here in the Run-Up Valley where I can go get them as they show up on the shelf. And Martin's pretty good about letting me know when uh, good stuff shows up. So hopefully that will continue. So Martin, thumbs up to you out there at uh, Barrel Chess. Great store guys. Uh, if you're not aware, if you're, if, if you're in the Run-Up Valley area and you're buying your beer somewhere else other than the Barrel Chess. You need to go by and check out Barrel Chest. Uh, they have craft beer on tap there. You can drink beer. You can go in and get a glass of something that they have on tap and shop for beer while you're there. Nobody else does that in the Rhino Valley. Nobody. Nobody. So it's a, it's a good thing. It's, it's a good thing. It really is. Uh, I'm still trying to open up uh, my beer store and hopefully that will happen in the next six months or so. The biggest problem in that is finding a location. Location is key to everything, guys. Uh, you got to have the right location. Uh, and once you get down into the location of where I want my store to be, the, the square footage price for renting is astronomical. I don't want to have to pay two or $3,000 a month rent and have to sell a million dollars worth of beer every month just to pay the rent. So that, that, that's the problem that I've been having over the last three years that I've been trying to open up my own little place. So, uh, but we still, we're still looking, uh, still haven't given up on that, so hopefully that will be. And plus I have my own business, and my, uh, I'm a, I own my own uh, custom uh, cabinet shop, and it's kind of hard for me to do that 
and open up a beer store at the same time. I can't be in both places at the same time. So I'm going to have to hire somebody and find out somebody that's knowledgeable on uh, craft beer. It's almost going to have to be somebody that's brewed beer, a home brewer, to, to, to be able to give the people that's coming in to buy stuff, uh, especially the home brewing supply part of it, and uh, uh, give them the information they need and, uh, and stock everything that those guys that want to brew their own stuff uh, along with uh, craft beers. So uh, it's a it's a process. So I'm not I haven't jumped into that ring of fire too soon, but I haven't given up on the idea. So it's still in a process, guys. So uh, without me flapping my gums any further, this is an awesome beer, guys. Very nice, sweet back end. Uh, I'm getting the dark fruit, uh, raisins, plums. There's some candied sugar in there. Very sweet on the back end, not bitter at all. And this is a big bottle, 750 milliliter, definitely enough to share with somebody. If you drink all this by yourself, you're definitely going to have your buzz going on, no doubt about it. So, I don't tell. Mm. Can't leave that. That's a great beer, guys. It is. Definitely a world-class beer. Definitely an outstanding beer. Date on the bottle. I'm on the fence between a 9 and a 10. But the information that I have here and the reputation of these guys, I've never had a bad beer from these guys. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever. Uh, I'm going to give it a 10. It, it is, like I said, the only way this can be better is to barrel age it in a in a bourbon barrel or something, in a whiskey barrel or whatever. But it is awesome. This beer, you can buy, you can sell it, uh, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, even twenty years. And this is going to get more complex over time. It's going to get better with age. So, and with the date on the bottle, when it was put in the bottle, you know how old the beer is. If you want to buy this year's edition, if you want to buy next year's edition, or last year's, and, and do a vertical side by side uh, a couple years down the road or whenever or just do a, a fresh one and, and one that you've aged for five or ten years you can great beer awesome beer very delicious beer if you're into this style the old days and I am I, I do like these occasionally and uh, it's awesome it's awesome I'm gonna give it to 10 guys I was on the fence between a 9 and a 10 there's no reason for me not to give this beer a 10 it is everything that you want in, in, uh, in an old ale especially an 11 percenter a nice sipping beer very goes very well with a nice uh, Maduro wrapped cigar uh, it's, it's delicious so 10 for me on this one guys over to Beer Advocate and like I said, they have the older version on here without the E on the old O-L-D-A-L-E. And they have 88 very good. I think that number is very low. If I was putting numeric rating on this, it would, it would be 100. It would be 100. If you say, oh, no, it's not quite to the 100, to 99. Or if you say it's 101, I'm not going to argue with that. It's, it's very, very delicious. It's uh, definitely uh, a beer to pick up. And uh, if you want to have it by yourself, or share it with somebody, or save it for a special occasion. A great beer for that reason. So, very nice, very nice. Over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 99 and 99 and 99 in the style. So, I'm gonna step up to the plate and go ahead and give it to 100. Uh, I think it's that good. I think it's that tasty. Not been disappointed from these guys at Ale Smith. So happy that they're coming to Virginia now. So if you've had this one from Ale Smith, they're out of San Diego, California. This is their OLD Ale, Old Ale, which is a 2014 edition, English style Old Ale. Very tasty, very, very tasty. So if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys, and hopefully we'll get a beer just as good as this one tomorrow. Come on back. Let's go see what's in the fridge. We'll do it together. See you then.